Previously, I learned the proper way to make pickles and not risk killing yourself from a professional pickle maker. Pickling involves preserving a food item in acidic solution below 4.6 pH, which is inhospitable to most bacteria. This prevents the food from decaying and dramatically extends its shelf life. Pickled cucumbers are the most common pickled item, but in reality, almost anything can be pickled. So with a few recipe suggestions from Kim, I set out to challenge that and see if you really could pickle anything. So everything has aged now for a few months. Now the moment of truth to see what actually can and can't be pickled. First we have some pH strips to actually test it and see how safe these are to eat. Our main goal is to not kill ourselves and see what actually makes a good pickle or not. And just in case it is poisonous, I'm gonna have Chris try out some of it first. All right, pickled apples. It kind of has an apple cider taste to it. Very tart, definitely tastes the acid. Not a huge fan. <laughs> this one's actually pretty good. I wouldn't pickle my apples. Bananas? Bananas. Smells like bananas. That's a, maybe a good sign. Looking good, another four for the pH. A little sweet. Super soggy. A little tart. Kind of mush. Not something I would eat every day. Wouldn't put this on my breakfast cereal. It's actually pretty good. I would do pickled bananas. Um, pineapple. Still a four. It's really easy to get these chunks out of the jar, as you can see. I think this is pineapple. That was delicious. It's uh, basically marinated, I think. I think there's more sugar than vinegar in this, so it's pretty sweet. That's pretty good. Pickled pineapple, probably the best so far. All right, watermelon rind. Good one. A bit gelatinous, I think. <laughs> you don't want to stay in the fork. It doesn't look appetizing, but... <coughs> a lot of acid. I'm only taking small bites, so there's less to vomit. I like it. It's got kind of a mellow flavor, but still kind of the tartness of the vinegar. I don't know, it's sweet, it's tangy, it doesn't really taste like watermelon anymore, it just tastes like vinegar. I like that. All right, now we got some pickled tomatoes. This smells like a ketchup fart. It's okay. No, no, no. Something a little unpleasant about it. I think it's 
mostly the texture. We got some onion. Not liking it. I think that's what smells bad in this. It tastes like really watered down ketchup. It smells like a pet store. No, the pumpkin with the face. I can't get the face out of the jar. Don't eat me. Actually, that's not bad. I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting sick of the vinegar. Ow. Smells like cheese. This was feta. It's been pickled. No, that's cheese. <laughs> Tastes like feta. Has a little bit of a tartness to it. It's pretty good. That's pickled cheese. And I feel the heartburn kicking in already. So next up is going to be the pickled mocha. We have cocoa beans and coffee beans. Coffee beans, about the same hardness. The cacao's all right. The hint of chocolate, maybe. Maybe the uh, chocolate part was uh, somewhat of a success. Not the greatest mix. Pickled bread. Ugh. pH is good. Yeah. I've never seen a bread that looks like a jello before. Some parts of it are a little moldy. That's very sour, very mushy. Would not recommend pickling your bread. It smells like sauerkraut. There's a ton of mold on that. Maybe not. Curious if the stuff at the bottom is still good though. So let's dump that out. Yeah. Not safe to eat either. I'll make Chris eat that one. I'm not gonna try it because there's a heaping bit of mold on top of it. I right, know, do the pork. Check the pH. Guess. All right, so that is a pH around five, which is above the safe level. It's been in the fridge, but I might boil this just to be sure. Ah, I'm not gonna eat this. It's all over my pants. All right, let's do the shrimp. It smells like good old Cajun food. It doesn't look very good. It has like a slime at the top. It doesn't smell very good. PH also looks kind of high. I know it's not safe to eat, but I hope it's safe to smell. Okay, maybe not. So I think I'm gonna pass on this one as well. Now we have the jar of feet. We have chicken feet and pig's feet. Maybe this one has the right pH. It smells disgusting, but it smelled that way before. Like gelatinous. That don't look good. That is not acidic enough. Eggs. Pickled eggs. We have ostrich eggs, chicken eggs, and quail eggs. No, those are not good. Do not recommend. Something I've never tried before, and this is something I'll never try ever. What's at the bottom of this? I think the ostrich egg kind of dissolved in here. Let's boil a few of these. With the jars with a lower than safe pH, I want to play it safe. And by boiling the items for 10 minutes, any possible botulism toxins will be destroyed, making them a little safer to try. Might have ruined the flavor of everything, but should at least be less likely to potentially kill me. So, we have the shrimp. It's a bit overcooked. Tastes good though. It's a little chewy. It's stuck in my teeth. All right, we got the pickled pork. It's overcooked, but it's really good. It's got a unique flavor to it. <laughs> I just don't want to die. I might actually try that again. The moldy sauerkraut, I'm just gonna try a little piece. Less to puke up later. So it smells a little bit like sauerkraut though. It's actually pretty good. Tastes like sauerkraut. Not as sour. Chicken foot. No. Nope, nope, nope. Not good. Not good at all. So here's a piece of pig's feet. Mm, it doesn't smell good. 
pig flesh flavor. Like when I poured it out, it was like almost jello. It was pretty nasty. And that's how it tastes. No. Okay, no. Okay, I have a little in my mouth. So what kind of prompted this whole series was my sandwich kind of rotting before I could eat it. So I took a sandwich and pickled the entire thing. See if this is just a nice, easy solution. You just bring a jar into work with your sandwich. Beautiful. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I would not trust eating this. It does not look the most appetizing. It's random colorings of probably rot or mold or some sort of fungus. The mayo is still evident on this. It's like hardened onto it. You can try this, Chris. I think I'm done. Just done. It's gross. All of it's disgusting. Except for the pineapples. Good. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and check out other content we have covering a wide variety of topics. Also, if you've enjoyed these series, consider supporting us on Patreon, fan-funded channel, and depend on the support of our viewers in order to keep our series going. Thanks for watching.